What's up, Gorilla Grills? Oh, we going? Yep. What's up, Gorilla Grills Nation? We have to do things a little dramatic around these parts sometimes. So, we're back. Um, this is going to be our second shoot in what we're calling our sauce and rub series, okay? We did our Alabama white barbecue sauce just a few short days ago, and then you guys started firing back at us, which we love and we're asking you to do. Everybody was like, that's great. A lot of people tried it. I'm glad that you did. But the resounding thing that came to me as far as what people wanted to see next was a coffee rub. So, as always, guys, we're listening. Always hit us up. Always let us know what you'd like to see next, especially in our cocktail series that we have going on, Death We Are Sauce and uh, Rub Series. Any of those things that we're doing in repetition like that, please let us know what you want to see next. Not only will it help you guys out, get a cool recipe out of it, it helps us out too because, you know, we just got to come up with new ideas all the time to make you guys happy. So, cheers to that. All right, guys, without further ado, we're going to make a quick and simple coffee rub. I want to throw this in there before we start. I'm doing this one kind of bare bones, okay? And I'm doing that for a very specific reason. This is just a very simple rub. Everything you have here, I guarantee you, is probably already sitting in your spice cabinet at home. The way I came up with this recipe, I knew we had some coffee. I literally went through our spice cabinet and said, okay, I've got this, 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 and this, so I'm using it, okay? This is kind of off the cuff, but it's a very simple recipe. Everything you might expect to see in a dry rub. We've got some smoked paprika. We've got some cayenne. We've got some chili powder mixed together in here some onion and some garlic powder okay of course we have our coffee a little bit of cocoa powder which i'll talk about in a second you want to use unsweetened 100 percent unsweetened cocoa powder got some light brown sugar dark is fine there as well and then of course the uh the standard salt and fresh ground pepper all right so let's get started and this is very easy and when we're done we're going to throw them on these pork chops we're going to throw them on the grill and we're going to get back to you show you the finished product all right so as simple as we go here start out with a little bit of coffee all right, this is about half a cup, guys. This is totally off the cuff, but about half a cup. I'm gonna actually write this recipe and get it up for you, no worries, but this is just what I came up with this morning. So, same line up. It's about a half a cup of light brown sugar. Again, dark is fine, no problem. Next, we're gonna put a little bit of cocoa powder in here, guys. Not too aggressive. This stuff will char up on you. It also has a heck of a taste, especially because it's unsweetened. We're just kind of using this to counterbalance that coffee and give it a little bit of extra richness to it as well, okay? A lot of, uh, we're gonna put a lot of cayenne pepper in here, guys. I'm from the South, I like things really spicy. That's probably about a tablespoon, that's quite a lot. We've got our garlic and our onion powder in here, okay? We're just gonna throw that in. Again, about a tablespoon each of that. Chili powder, I'm gonna do about the same. I'm not gonna use all this, actually. There we go, about a tablespoon of that. And then last but not least, we have some paprika. And we're just going to toss that in there, all right? Salt and pepper. Let's be generous. Okay, boom. Then we're just going to mix this together, all right? Real simple. Get a nice mix on it. Incorporate everything really well into it. You can already smell that, can't you? Mm -hmm. It smells amazing. I've always liked coffee rubs, guys, and I tell you, they're so, so versatile. They lend such a depth of flavor to things. They're excellent on pork. They're really, really good on beef. And believe it or not, uh, if you want a little extra kick to your chicken, it works really well with that too. Um, a lot of people only just use this on dark meat, not at all necessary. This stuff is very, very versatile, way more versatile than you would think, and excellent on pretty much any protein, all right? Now we're just gonna put this on a little bit of a plate here. All right, nice and liberal. And then we're just gonna take our pork porterhouse I'm just going to give it a nice coating. There we go. There's one. And then two. Check out our June 11th video for all things grand when it comes to the pork porterhouse. All right, guys, we're just going to throw this on the grill. Here we are. Get a nice char on it. Awesome. All right, we're going to let them do their thing. Cook off for a few minutes to a nice medium. We're going to let it rest out for 10, as I'm always telling you to do. Rest, rest, rest. I'm going to come back, show you the finished product. See you in just a few minutes. Cheers. 